Recognize 15 seconds. Recognize the blood pressures. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Falcon 9 lift off in a beautifully clear shot there uh, at 4.14 p.m. Eastern. Uh, at T plus 10 seconds, the thrust vector control system tilted Falcon to begin a pitch kick maneuver to get it going sideways. You just heard that uh, we're going supersonic and we're about to go through max Q when the rocket's pushing hardest against the atmosphere. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. successfully achieved that major milestone of every rocket launch. Uh, we're actually decreasing the thrust in our engines a little bit around the time of max Q to minimize some of those forces. Coming up about uh, 50 seconds from now, uh, back engine chill. Uh, there'll be three events in quick succession. The main engines will cut off, the two stages will separate, and the second stage will start its Merlin vacuum engine, uh, which you heard is just beginning its own chill procedure. Cutoff happening just a few seconds from now. Pico. some of the flicker from Merlin vacuum engine plume as it uh, flicker in the cameras as, as that plume sort of interacted with the top of the interstage there for a moment. Uh, the next major event is uh, the fairing deploy coming up just a few seconds from now. That's the second stage that will be deploying its fairing. And there you see the, the fairings falling away behind. Uh, there's a still, they're light, they're made of carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb, but they still represent excess mass, so we, we uh, no longer need them once we get out of the atmosphere. For those of you just joining us, we had three uh, events in rapid succession. We had a main engine cutoff from that first stage, we had a stage separation event, and then we had a second stage light, uh, followed quickly then by a fairing separation. Everything's going great right now. Uh, Falcon 9 is looking uh, pretty good. Uh, right now, let's go over what we can see on your screen. On the left-hand side, that's a camera mounted on the top of the first stage of the rocket, looking down towards the nine Merlin engines at the bottom. Uh, in that view, you can see those titanium grid fins. Uh, they slowly deployed just after stage separation. 
and those grid fins will allow the Falcon 9 first stage to guide itself back down towards the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. You can see uh, brief flashes of those cold gas thrusters as they guide, uh, pro provide additional control authority for that first stage. On the right-hand side of your screen is a camera mounted at the very bottom of the second stage looking down towards the Merlin vacuum nozzle. Uh, of course, at the very other end of that stage is the Bangamandu Satellite 1. Uh, right now, that Merlin vacuum engine is glowing red hot with those exhaust gases as it propels Bangamandu Satellite 1 into its final geostationary transfer orbit. Our Falcon 9 first stage today is going to perform two burn maneuvers in order to get back down towards the drone ship. Uh, the first burn is going to be an entry burn coming up in about 30 seconds. You'll be able to see that entry burn start on the left-hand side of your screen. As a reminder, those uh, bursts of uh, clouds coming out of the Falcon 9 first stage on the left are those cold gas thrusters that, in addition to the titanium grid fins, allow it to provide or to control itself as it comes back down through the atmosphere. There's the startup of the entry burn. At this point, the Falcon 9 first stage is actually only about 10% of the mass that it was in the pad. So it's actually pretty empty of fuel and liquid oxygen right now. So this entry burn is only going to last a few more seconds before cutting off. And there it is. As that first stage gets closer and closer to the surface of the Earth, uh, we should be able to see features such as clouds, waves, and eventually the outline of our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. It looks like there may be some condensation forming on the inside of the camera, but uh, we should get some good, uh, good video. Um, on the right-hand side of your screen, again, that second stage is still continuously uh, propelling Bangamandu Satellite 1 into orbit. It uh, looks like we may have lost video from the cameras on that first stage momentarily. Uh, we'll see if we can get them back. Uh, it, one thing that is unique about this mission uh, is that the second stage engine cutoff is going to happen just before the landing, coming up in about 20 seconds or so. You can see in your mission status bar at the very bottom, the second stage engine cutoff and landing are right on top of each other. So uh, be prepared for those two events to happen in quick succession. So it looks like we don't have a great video signal with that first stage right now, but we do have confirmation that the landing burn has started. Those landing legs should be deploying very soon. There it is. <laughs> and after a brief interruption in the video signal, uh, we are looking at the 25th recovered first stage of a Falcon 9 vehicle. Uh, what a great sight. Uh, that is a camera on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Uh, the crowd's going nuts here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne. Uh, while all that was happening, while all that was happening, uh, we did have a successful second stage engine cutoff of that uh, second stage carrying Bangabandu Satellite 1.
Uh, so uh, while we're all very excited here at SpaceX to recover our 25th booster, uh, the primary mission is still to bring Bangabandhu Satellite 1 into geostationary transfer orbit. Uh, right now, everything's looking good from that second stage. Uh, it's going to coast for about 17 minutes or so. We're not going to be with you for all of that. We're actually going to just look at a simulation of where that second stage is. However, we will come back in approximately nine or 10 minutes to guide you through the rest of the satellite deployment. Uh, today's launch. Uh, we had a successful launch at 4.14 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, great stage separation. We caught the first stage on the drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, and the second stage had an excellent burn. Maintained great uh, chamber pressure through the whole time, uh, and during the coast period, it's been keeping its propellants well settled in their tanks, which is important for uh, uh, getting the second stage its second burn. That's coming up uh, just a few seconds from, oh, happening right now. Uh, this burn is going to last for a total of about one minute, and it's going to raise the orbit from being just a couple hundred kilometers above the surface of the Earth into a geostationary transfer orbit where the maximum altitude is 36,000 kilometers uh, above the surface of the Earth. So uh, in these few minutes before separation at this point, only a couple more things are going to be happening. We're bleeding our propellant lines down uh, to bring down the pressure in the plumbing, uh, after the burn is complete, that is. Uh, which is, should be happening uh, in about 15 or 20 seconds from now. Down. And there you saw it, uh, the second stage completed its second burn. Let's take a few moments to make sure that we've entered the expected orbit. Good final orbit. And we've gotten confirmation that we are in a good final orbit. Uh, so now uh, there are only a couple minutes before that payload deploy, and that's when we're bleeding down the propellant lines to bring down the pressure in the plumbing. Uh, the propellant that used to be in those lines, we're giving some time to uh, float away from the vehicle. Uh, after that, we'll slowly spin the stage and payload to a rotation of one and a half degrees per second, a rotational rate there. Uh, and then we'll release the satellite and let it gently float away on its geostationary transfer orbit. Uh, that deploy event is going to be coming up in just about uh, four minutes from now.
Welcome back. For those of you just joining us, we are only about 30 seconds away from the deployment of Bangabandhu Satellite 1. On the right-hand side of your screen, you can see a camera view uh, of the satellite itself from the very bottom. It's currently attached to the top of that second stage by way of a payload adapter fitting. In about 10 seconds, we should be able to see that payload adapter fitting release, and Bangabandhu Satellite 1 will be on its way. Let's watch that. Exploration confirmed. And you saw it uh, on your screen. Uh, we successfully deployed Bungabundi Satellite 1, and it's on its way to geostationary, in our final geostationary orbit. Um, so that brings, uh, that brings today's mission to a close. Uh, 